welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how to make this super awesome, really easy PNG fur that you can add to anything on your blender project. It turns out looking really good in the end, super fluffy, super awesome. I'm going to have the FBX for this fur ball as well as four textures available on my Patreon to anyone who wants it. So to get started, all I'm going to do is add a sphere. This really can be any shape you want, just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using a sphere. Once you have your shape, all you're going to want to do is make sure it's selected and you're going to go down to the particle properties and you're going to click the little plus button that means add. Then you're going to change the style to hair. And what I like to do is change the segments down so that you don't have that many segments because you really don't need them for this particular instance. And I'm going to change my length all the way down until it shows in the viewfinder a good length that I want my fur to look like. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to toggle down children and I'm going to turn on interpolated. That's going to give me a lot more hairs to work with. Next, I'm going to add the actual PNG that I want my fur to look like. So I'm going to add a plane. I'm just going to go ahead and toggle off the sphere so we can see what we're working with. And I'm going to go ahead and add a material to this. And the material I'm adding is a custom texture that I made. It's four ways, so no matter which way your fur is facing, it looks all the same. And like I said, I'm going to have four of these available in a zip on my Patreon. So if you want to head over there and sign up, you can download these for yourself. Or you can just use a fur texture that you have. I'm going to turn my sphere back on once the texture is applied to that plane. And I'm going to just rename these. So I'm going to name the sphere ball and I'm going to name the other one fur. Then I'm going to take the fur and add a particle instance modifier. And I'm going to select the object as the ball. Once that's done, you can see I have this really weird looking fur contraption. And I want to make sure that I have the children selected. Then I want to come down and make sure I have create along paths checked because I want it to match up with my ball. And I'm going to check the size button so that it is the same size as my particle distance. Now this looks really uniform. It's a little bit uh, not perfect. So I'm going to go down here to the random and the rotation sliders and I'm just going to slide those until it looks a little bit more organic. Then I'm going to go back to the particle settings for my ball and add a few more children so that I can make it more dense and filled in. So the amount of children you have is the amount of PNG fur that you have so you can make it a lot more thick. Make sure you don't go too thick though because you will definitely get high poly if you get too thick. And a little bit goes a long way here. When you're totally satisfied with how your fur looks, you can go ahead and apply your modifier on your fur and you can delete that ball or whatever the original shape was and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have so much fun making your own low poly PNG fur. I'll see you in the next video.